what will be the marked price if the difference between the selling price of an article discounted at 30% and selling price of another article discounted at 10% and again 20% is Rs 144. She is asking us to find out the marked price, marked price of an article if the difference between the selling price of an article discounted at 30%. Now understand, he is talking about the selling price of an article discounted at 30% versus selling price of an article discounted at 10% and again at 20%. So there are two different cases here. You have to look at the selling price when the article is discounted by 30% and you have to look at the selling price when the article is discounted by 10% followed by another discount of 20%. The difference between these two, the difference between these two selling prices is rupees 144. You able to follow? So basically S minus S dash equals to 144. I mean you don't have to write this step in the exam but just for the sake of clear explanation. S minus S dash equals to 144. Now what is S? S, let's assume the mark price is M. So selling price is 70% of mark price, 70% of mark price since the discount is 30%. Right, he says the discount is 30%. When the discount is 30%, selling price will be 70% of the mark price. In the second case, what happens? You have given two discounts, two discounts, one of 10% and then followed by 20% each. Now understand, when there are two successive discounts, what is the overall discount? How do you calculate the overall discount in the second case? See, this is like the effective percentage concept. You remember, we have discussed about this in the effective percentage concept. If there is a discount of 10%, followed by another discount of 20%. The total discount is not 30%, right? Don't get confused. The total discount is not 30%. Total discount will be lesser than 30%. How do you measure that? Simple. Minus 10, minus 20, plus minus 10 into minus 20 by 100. Do this and you will get the answer. Don't ask me why. This has been discussed in percentages, right? This is a concept of percentages. So basically, you got to be very, very clear with your basics, right? Then you'll be able to solve the questions without any difficulty. A plus B plus AB by 100 is what we are using here, right? Effective percentage formula. A is 10, B is 20. We are taking minus 10 and minus 20 because these are discounts. And discount means reduction in the value. So A plus B plus AB by 100. Do that. Minus 10 minus 20 is minus 30. And here what happens? Minus 2 minus is plus. Minus 30 plus 2. Minus 30 plus 2 is minus 28. So basically the discount is 28 percentage, which, which means in the second case, the selling price S dash is going to be 72 percentage of the mark price. Why? Since the discount is 28 percentage. Here the discount is 28 percentage. That's it. You're done. Once you know these two, you are through. Right? In the first case, there is a straight discount of 30 percent. In the second case, there is a compounded discount you give a 10 percent discount again negotiate and give another 20 percent discount which leads to overall 28 percent discount now he says the difference between these two is 144 so substitute substitute s and s dash in this equation i mean of course the difference here it's not minus difference so can you say 72 percent of mark price 72 percent of mark price minus 70 percent of mark price equals to 144 yes which means two percent of mark price is 144 2% of the mark price is 144. If 2% is 144, 100% is how much? Basic calculation, right? 2% is 144, 100% is how much? See, if 2% is 144, 1% will be 72. Half of it, right? 2% 144, 1% 72. If 1% 1 is 72, 100% will be 7200. So that's your answer. The mark price will be 7200. And you don't have to write all these steps, put all these steps in the exam, right? And, and I think you are you you should be capable enough of doing this calculation mentally, you know, without having to put it on paper. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds in my view. 70% of mark price, 72% of mark price, difference is 2%. That 2% is equivalent to 144. 100% is how much? 100% will give you 7,200. All right? So that's the answer.